guys, Al here again. Bit of a different adventure today. So all you sea anglers, you might not want to watch this one. Uh, or you might want to see how the other half do it. Now, Rob, who I went fishing with um, at Spires Lakes, um, he's going to take me to Hogsbrook today and try and get me on some big carp. Bearing in mind, I've only ever been carp fishing once before. So yeah, should definitely be an adventure. So Rob's going to be around in about 15 minutes. So we'll see you at the lake. Alex is into his first carp. Hopefully it's a good sized one. That's his first carp. So, first one of the day at Hogsbrook, weighed in at seven pound, absolutely buzzing with that. It's still early on in the day, it's about half nine now, so hopefully, we can get a monster. So, three hours, we've been waiting for a bite. <laughs> Rob's changing the tactics to a float, see what he can get. There walks a defeated man. <laughs> so it's five o'clock now. Uh, we haven't had anything from that first one at half nine. Uh, no knocks or nothing. The fish just aren't feeding. Uh, we're going to fish it for another hour or so and then come back in two days' time, uh, Thursday, and then fish the bottom lake. Hopefully we'll have a bit more luck then. So guys, change of plan. I've just pulled over now. Uh, Rob has rung me, it's the following day, the Wednesday. He's rung me in the morning saying, yeah, the weather doesn't look as bad as we thought. So do you fancy fishing Upham Farm? Well, any sort of fishing, I want to be there. So uh, I'm just reaching the common now. Should be at Upham in about 10, 15 minutes. So we'll see you when you get there. So we're on lake number four. Rods are in the water. See if we can get any So the rain's coming down now. We're keeping dry, which is the main thing. Uh, they're having a match down the bottom lake, uh, and the blokes there said that with the rain, it should help to oxygenate the water. Um, like I always say, I ain't got a clue about coarse fishing. But that can only mean a good thing if, if they think it's uh, gonna help. So I've got two pop-ups on, I've got a pop-up on each rig at the minute. Gonna give it about another hour, then change one of them to sweet corn if I don't get anything. But hopefully we'll have a fish to show you in a bit. Rob's changing tactics again. He's gonna drop one in the margin over there. Always on the move, that boy. So nothing on lake four. We've decided to make a move to lake five. Yeah, 
not a good day so far. At least the rain stopped, uh, but we're all set up. Fingers crossed we get something as usual. So we've got about another hour left before we disappear. Um, looks like we're gonna blank today. The rain has been non-stop all day, so all the kit's drenched. Um, yeah, so I phoned my sister to get her to go to the tackle shop today. So I'm gonna have some new bakes. I've been using the old stuff out of the shed. Uh, yeah, not the best idea, but... So I've got some sticky bait uh, and some tutti fruity pink boilies. Uh, bloke in the tackle shop, uh, Exmouth Tackle, said to use his sticky bait stuff. So I'm gonna have a go when we pop to Hogsbrook tomorrow. We're definitely going to get some fish tomorrow, 100%. So we're now at Hogsbrook, uh, Thursday. There's loads of fishermen here. Uh, we've been pushed from the two swims that we wanted to be on the other side of the lake. Uh, we're on the back end of it now on the bottom lake. But we've got the rods in the water. Just have to keep going, see if we can get something. Rob's got a little bream to stop the blank. Good lad. Rob's in again. Little bream. Stop showing off now, Rob, catching all these fish. on the bream today that's his fourth so far good lad blank i'm shattered luckily i've got one more chance to get this big carp uh the old man is going to take me to up um on tuesday so a couple of days from now he's pretty much guaranteed he's going to get me a carp but we shall see So we're at Upham Farm. Uh, spots were taken on Lake 4, so we're now on Lake 3. Uh, both rods are in the water. The old man's still bumbling around. But I'm just in the two margins in front of me. Give it a go, see if we can get anything. So, and just got the first fish of the session. Little bream, very nice. And she's on fire, she's into a car. Trying to keep an army line as well. Happy days. We'll get it in and have a look. Nice. So, Ange's got the first car for the session. <laughs> well done, Ange. Just over five pounds. Lovely. The old man's into a bream. Dirty. Yeah. Dirty little monkey. Get rid. Well done, Ange. Ten pound five ounces. Oh, biggest. Nice. Got it. Well done. Angie's in again. Unbelievable. Oh, Angie's onto her third car. <laughs> well done, Ange. Hi. They've been using maggots. So I've nicked some off the old man. He's changed my rig for me. So fingers crossed we'll get something. So we've got about an hour to go. I still haven't caught nothing. Um, I'm hoping I can get some in within the next hour because if I don't, this is going to be one of the worst videos ever made. So wish me luck. See if we can get one. These two are killing me. They're in again. Unbelievable. Well, that was a nice mirror, but I uh, went into the reeds and they lost it. <laughs> there is definitely something going on here. The old man's in now. What the hell's going on?
Maria. Oh. Fish, well, what can I say? Just got out of the bath. I am shattered. Uh, no, nope, I didn't catch a fish. So, yeah, I'm pretty rubbish at course fishing. Uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of tactical things to it and stuff. Um, yeah, stick to sea angling for the minute, I think. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of research over the next couple of months. Uh, I've got a couple of days off in December. So I'll do some research up until then, watch a couple of uh, Carl and Alex videos and Alan Blair, um, and hopefully get a bit more knowledge about it. Uh, and then in December, get on the lakes again and give it a go. Hopefully get something that time. As usual, guys, if you like what we do, give us a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so any adventure that we go on, you can come with us, and we'll see you at the next session.